everyone, my name is Gifts, but you can also call me Gifty Love. Welcome back to my channel. Um, on my channel, I do commentary, tall, girl fashion, just about anything that comes to mind where I get to talk about something that I'm passionate about or that I just want to share. I'm a very open person. Today will probably be a really super quick video, but I just wanted to film my kind of reaction to um, this video that's going around Twitter, I guess like British Twitter, um, on on an interaction during during question time, which is like a TV show where uh, like the public can ask questions to like a panel of like experts. The tea I'm drinking to now is my favorite. Well, this is my favorite. It's the Pucker Peppermint and Licorice um, Tea. It's my favorite. I'm gonna need something to cheer me up while I watch this horrific video. So, um, to give a bit of context, so it's BBC, it's BBC Question Time, and it's Law, and it's about Lawrence, so Lawrence Fox, and kind of the, the point of contention was Lawrence Fox saying, I was born this way, to call me a white privileged male is racist. I can't access the question that kind of sparked the debate, but from obviously the context of the video, um, I understand that they were talking about Meghan Markle and what could, and, and kind of the horrible treatment she's gotten in, in the press and kind of the subsequent decision for her and Harry to become financially independent Megxit. I wonder why they made it Megxit and not like something to do with Harry. I don't know, because he's the actual royal person, so wouldn't it be him? Anyway, I'm not someone to talk, whatever. So I'm just gonna watch it and then like live react. I don't know if I'm gonna put the video up so you can watch it too, but I will link a link to it below. I get really heated about this type of stuff, so I'm, I'm gonna pause, it's like the minute, the clip is only a minute long, but I'm gonna pause it loads because I have a lot to say. So let's. We've got with this is that Megan has agreed to be Harry's wife and then the press have torn her to pieces. And let's, let's be really clear about what this is. Let's call it by its name. It's racism. She's a black woman and she has- Okay, so let's- <laughs> Let's put it there. So it was interesting because I think everyone was, you know, really for like, yes, you know, Megan has been railroaded by the media. And I was like, yes, yes, I can definitely agree with that. People have not been very nice. But then as soon as she said the R word, I don't know what it is about white people, but as soon as you say the R word, racism, everything kicks off and it's almost as if like, I think I read somewhere on Twitter that it's like, for the word racism, white people treat it as bad treat it as if it is as bad as the actual act of racism and as you I don't know if you could hear it in the clip but at that point in the clip the camera pans and the claps aren't as loud and as you know with so much vim as they were before and certain people are just like oh I don't know about that and it's really I find that really interesting because I think the that a lot of white people see racism as like lynching or calling someone the n-word or police brutality when actually racism is like it's institutional it's structural it's something that white people benefit from and it's in a lot of cases invisible which is why lots of like microaggressions and um things of that nature go unchecked because people can't quite pin it but they know that someone is, is um, exercising their power over someone else in, in quite an insidious way and i think white people are finding it hard to grasp that that type of racism i think everyone's like it's the physical violence that they can kind of get behind but all the other aspects of it it seems people are very behind on oh my god i've got to put my phone on um so that's what i feel about that bit <laughs> that's what i feel about that bit uh, and I accidentally press play and automatically Lawrence Fox, the white guy, is saying it's not racism, it's not, it's just not. Anyway, I'll let the video play. She has been torn to pieces. And it's, do you know what? <laughs> it's like, it's just not racism. And you can see him going like this in his head. It's, and I think it's that, this, that dismissive attitude that a lot of white people take. It's just, it's not like, it's not a one of what? What do you mean? It's just like a no. It can't. It cannot be. There's no way that. This, and it's like you're telling a person that probably experiences it day to day. It can't be. I'm telling you. And again, it's, it's that insidious structural power. How is he 
able, like, as someone that benefits from this system, it's amazing that he feels he has the power, because he, he, as a white man, he has the power to dictate what is and what isn't, which is why he's shaking his head, because he is declaring that it isn't, because he feels emboldened and able to. A lot of people of colour don't have this power, and it's, 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 seeing him go like this to no racism, it, like, shows him exercising it, and I just think it, it's, it's remarkable. It absolutely no, it's is. Uh, we're the most tolerant, lovely country uh, uh, in Europe. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Okay, okay, okay. Um, so, we're the most lovely, tolerant country in Europe. Shut the fuck up. Like, I, you have to live in the biggest and thickest bubble in the world to think that this country is the most tolerant country in the world. Like, it's only a couple of years ago, we literally watched people of color burn to death. And people even now that suffered from the Grenfell tragedy are still not homed. Windrush, the wind, the wind, wind rush scandal, people being illegally deported from their home we're the most tolerant country. I don't... Colonial... <laughs> this is the word colonialism. But we're the most tolerant country. Are you dumb? Are you dumb or are you foolish? Or both? Because it actually doesn't make sense. And I'm just like deep in it. It's like, how... I know how, because you live in a world of privilege and no one will tell you this information, but I just... How fucking thick do you have to be to really believe that? To really wake up? And then someone in the crowd goes, yeah, yeah, I... Darling. We're the most loveliest... <laughs> Let me just... It's really stuck. What worries me about your comments? Oh, wow. Um, so he says about... It's, 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 you know, you can't just throw the racism card or whatever it is at everything. It starts to get really boring. Imagine how tired we are. Imagine how tired we are of it. I think it's interesting that you said that because I think now more than ever we're having actual conversations about why things are the way they are, why things are happening. And I find it really interesting that he says it's starting to get a bit boring in that it's coming up so often. He's faced with the reality of racism so often because people are feeling braver to talk about it. People are starting to do the work so they can learn about racism so they can battle it, that he's realizing how insidious and all encompassing racism is because it keeps coming up because it controls and dictates so much of people's lives. Of course, it's gonna keep coming up. That's how a power structure works. It is everywhere and it affects our lives every single day. So, it's going to come up every single day. I'm sorry if you're bored of it, hun. How do you think we feel? The privilege of it all is what's really getting to me because imagine being bored of someone bringing up their humanity and how the power structures like racism and discrimination are affecting them being able to live their everyday life. And like, oh, I just can't be able to talk about it anymore. Disgusting, despicable. Oh, oh. oh, even the crowd's like, oh, we can't say that. Oh, you mean a bit, oh. And even he's just like, oh. And again, it's that thing of being faced with the privilege that you hold. Nope, no, 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 don't accept it. Oh my God. And it's interesting because I feel like he could go both ways because I feel like some people go the other way and saying, oh, come on, you come on, you're making a big deal of nothing. But then he went the other way and was like, well, actually, and that's how when challenged to think differently and challenged about the privilege you hold you shut it down what you do is this whole reverse racism malarkey which i can't stand and doesn't fucking exist and you say well you know if your lived experience is terrible because of the structures and powers that I'm part of and privilege. Your life has been dictated by the privilege <coughs> I and other people like me hold. Well, what you're saying right now makes me uncomfortable and so that must equate to the same thing so that I am going to assume that's racism. Stop it. Nothing that she said was boosting 
her race, whatever it may be, to say that hers was superior. But that's a very watered down version of what racism is because the reason why it can't be reverse racism the reason why reverse racism isn't real is because in order to be racist, you have to hold power and wield it over somebody. And black people and POC don't have that. So we cannot be racist. Yes, we can be discriminatory. Pardon me. Yes, we can be prejudiced, but we cannot be racist purely because we don't have, we don't hold the power and the um, institutional the institutional power and structure to wield that over white people. It's as simple as that. And I mean, I don't mean to say it's as simple as that. There's so many layers and nuances to that, but that is the easiest way that I can explain it and digest it into that won't make this video three million hours long. <clears throat> the part of the video that was taken out was the host saying, oh, and by the way, the home sec secretary, who happens to be a pe person of colour, has said that he doesn't think what's happened to Megan is racist. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh. Who cares? He does not speak for every single person of colour. And also just having a person of colour say something is okay doesn't legitimise something being okay like I don't understand how in your head that that validates it so well another person of color doesn't agree with you so it doesn't matter that the facts are the facts and him saying that I don't think that this is you know it's like it, it it's I, I I I get annoyed having to explain this because it's like I think people it makes me annoyed because it feels like people are being stupid on purpose and it annoys me because it's not being stupid on purpose for any sort of funny game. It's like there's people's lives at stake. And for you to just shrug it off is mind boggling and disgusting. And something that, I mean, God will surely punish all these evil people, but like, I just sometimes deep how I, I, I find it so hard to grasp because just why I don't why and and I want to be clear and like get this across in that as much as he didn't want to accept his privilege he was exerting his privilege in that moment being able to talk over her and say what he wants to say and get his point across and shut down the conversation and her point that she was trying to make already is privilege he is privileged in doing that. Because the fact he's a man and he's white meant that whatever he was saying was much better, much more important than whatever she was saying, that he couldn't even wait for her to finish and that he could interrupt and say what it was he was going to say. Videos like this annoy me and irritate me. And the reason is because I know people aren't this thick. And if they are, that's fucking scary. And well, the earth is dying and I think God should just wipe us out and start from scratch. And it's always really funny because they're always just like, I'm not saying this, but what if, darling, it's you, say it with your fucking chest, it's you, darling, you think these racist things, you think these discriminatory things, you think these terrible things, saying it someone else doesn't, doesn't detach you from it, because it's very obvious that it's you, sweetheart, so say it with your fucking chest, admit that's what you think, and ask someone, is this the right thing to think, and then when they tell you that it's not, fucking accept it and swallow it, Go away and do the work and think about it and become a better ally to people. Become a better person in general. For you to be unaware of the privilege you hold is one thing. For you to be aware of the privilege you hold and completely deny it and not want to do the work to help and bring others up is an evil, decisive choice that you are making and you have to live with that. Whether that's a choice you want to make or not, you have to live with the fact that you're making the active choice to acknowledge your privilege and not do anything about it. And you're making the world a worse place. That's it. Anyway, that's going to be my two cents on the video. Um, please like, subscribe, and comment down below what you think. Any troll comments or mean comments will just be deleted because I'm not care. I don't have time. I'm living my life and drinking my tea. Um, but if you want to have a nuanced conversation and like just discussion in the comments, feel free to do so. I will try and respond where I can. If you don't want to like, subscribe, or comment, thank you so much for watching and engaging with my content. I really appreciate it. All of it helps with my watch time and getting to my goals this 2020. Um, I guess I just want to say to all the black girls out there, to all the people of colour out there, but I specifically talk to the black girls and black baby non-binaries and just black people in general. I love you. You will not have to, you don't have to argue your humanity to these people that refuse to do the work and research and use the 
device that is Google that was made for specifically for this reason, specifically for the reason of finding out things you don't know. Um, and I love you and keep strong. It's okay to be soft. It's okay to not feel strong, but try and find strength within yourself wherever you can to survive these times where people just don't understand the privilege that they have. Um, and Britain needs to wake the fuck up on who they are and their history and why. And I think a big part of this ignorance is people not being aware of British history. And, or if they are, it's for a, a very, very warped and specific lens, which stops people from fully accepting the trauma and pain a lot of POC people have been through and why things that they say like, oh, what you're saying is racist and why it's so dumb, but also really hurtful. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it or learned something or are now going to go away and think about something. Um, see you on the next one. Bye.